Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am the Marmoset, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. What are we up to today? Today, we are going to be visiting TMA4. Last session, we found a selection of Tycho magnetic anomalies. We went to the one that's just outside, nearby, um, and we went, well, let's, let's go and look at this. It's very important. We should, you know, go and look at this. And we did, and it's over there. Um, and we quickly decided, let's actually just walk the next morning. Won't take very long. He's expanding out syllable, and yeah, there we go. Um, and there it is. We went wandering out, looking at. It. We discovered that there are other anomalies out there. We are going to head for Tycho Anomaly Number Four. That's Number Two. Here's the space center. Number Four is the one up there. So, to do that, we're going to need to build a bigger plane. To build a bigger plane. We're going to need a bigger hangar because we're going to be more than the, more than 30 parts. So we'll upgrade the hangar. We've got the money. I've been doing some uh, contracts, mostly tourist stuff. Um, and I'm bored of having to run off the runway. So we're also going to upgrade that, which will mean our weight limit goes up as well. Nice. So now we've actually have a flat bit of ground. So let's start by building a bigger plane. Let's just quickly check. Dragonfly. Most of these are called Explorer. Yes, alright, so it'll be a new explorer. So we will start with a Mark 1 cockpit. And then the immediate next thing I'm going to do is put a crew cabin on the back of it. Lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off. Um, because I want to actually make this a bit more of a mission. It's going to be a longer haul, and so we should take some more people with us. No idea how quietly they are arranged in here. Alright, so they are going to be vaguely arranged so they're sat the right way up. That's fine. Next, we want some fuel tanks. Ooh. One, two, because we're going to be flying for quite some time. Show me aerodynamic parts. Yeah, which of these is a tail butt? No, let's go for the one that's got ground clearance. Wow. That's quite a lot of tail butt. We might not necessarily need that. What we will do next need, however... Oh, engine to sell. Some reserve soil, practical option. Engine cells self contained solution for powering air-breathing engines. It contains some reserve fuel, making it a very practical option. C7 engineers ensure that these units are quite safe and that the dents and burn marks will give yours a unique look. Optimized for subsonic flight includes very powerful static suction. Oh right, so this is an intake rig. And I will buy that. So the circular intake, that's a bigger intake. Intake air, amount two, amount five. Oh wow, that's a lot. Uh, give me symmetry. I would like a pair of these, and I'll stick them amidships. I've got them on. Okay. They appear to be omnidirectional. All right then. They don't appear to have a front or a back. They look the same. That's unanticipated. Unexpected? Unexpected. And I want the bigger turbofan. Which I'm going to stick on the back. Alright, so we have 39 minutes of fuel. That's not too bad. Next, an important thing we need. Wings. Bye. 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 Alright, so we're intending to go quite far, which means we need to go fast. That's the reason we've got such quite such a watch as that on atmospheric. So if we're up at around 5k or so, yeah, not too bad. If we're up at Mac 1. And we're cruising around here. Alright, that thrust to weight ratio is not awful, but we still have oh, an hour's worth of fuel. Alright. So Nice. Right. Wings. 
and we're going to want to sweep these so you're organized that way around you're organized that way around all right so let's start by putting one set of wings on and then finding a way of attaching these all right if I move you back a bit, then I should be able to attach you like that. All right, so now we have a swept leading edge. Excellent. Okay. Elevons. These are the ones you always have to play around with to get in the right place. Now we need tail thin. Blunted. All right. We want a. Oh, hang on a sec. How big are you? You're tiny. <laughs> no. All right. Let's put you on as far back as we were happy with, and then tuck you on the front that. Uh, and some switch these back to ground level uh, contracts window go away. There we go. Alright, so I want the winglet, which is a moving surface. I want one that way. And then I want... Another couple more, but I'm going to go to rotate mode, and I'm going to flatten you off. Uh, do I want that much anhedral? No, I want them flat. I'm also going to rotate them so that they are oh, and certain and snapping off, so that they are nice and flat that way as well. Nice. All right. So we'll start loading up a few other goodies. Do we want anything else on here? Well, yeah, you say that. And I wouldn't mind carrying Science Junior, just in case we end up somewhere we're not expecting. So we're also going to carry a thermometer, pressure sensor, Let's go the wrong way again, wrong way again. We're also going to carry a flight computer. So we'll have our kill engineering readouts while we're in progress. And for symmetry reasons. Um, no, I'm alright. I don't mind. They're not going to extract the aerodynamics. Yeah, they're going to get the way of the aerodynamics. Alright. Not one of you then. Just a few basic bits. I quite like the look of this bird. This is a nice looking plane, actually. Plenty of fuel. See, I do want to get the, the mystery goose in, which means I need to go to utility. No, I need service bay. That's the wrong thing. Open up. See about what we knew about sticking a pair of you in there. All right. Now we need to add. Let's go down the list. Got that. All of those. Don't need those. Let's just double check that these are connected. 
Yeah, so by reducing this, you can see that our amount of burn time decreases, so they are connected to the engines. Don't need a reaction wheel, because we've got control surfaces. Don't need struts. Don't need decoupling. Happy with our dynamics. Ground. Ooh, small landing gear. High performance retractable landing gear. Comes with shock absorbers, steering and built-in spotlights. Salvage some scrap machinery. Retractable landing gear suits me. So we will put a pair. On the bottom of the nacelles. And we will do our... Let's switch back to that. Let's re-engage the snap. There we go. Nice. And let's get our nose wheel on. Shiny. Alright, now for the bit that might take a bit of tinkering. Now for the bit where we find out center of mass, center of aerodynamics. It's quite a bit behind. We do have a fair bit of fuel, but I'm not immediately concerned. I mean, if we were to grab that and move it forward. Now, see, I don't mind obscuring that unit. I don't have a problem with that. The question is, do we need quite such a substantial tail section? It looks nice, but is it Alt, Control, Shift. No. That makes a copy. All right, let's grab you and put it over there. And you are going to burn off in the engine thrust. All right, that's that's it's it's confirmed. I need the I need a, need some kind of tail section. Just I wouldn't mind a smaller one than the one we've already got because it's enormous. <laughs> it is far too big. But all right, come on. You fitted a few minutes ago. I was there. We were all there when you fitted a few minutes ago. There we go. All right. Let's take this out for a test flight. And this is the Explorer LR. LR standing for long range. Crew. I would like Mauler, Astin, and Seafowl. So we're taking an engineer, because you can't take an engineer on an experimental plane. Scientist, because we've got science payload. And of course, you need a pilot. That's what Mauler's up there for. All right, then. Let's see if this thing takes off. So we will save. We will launch. All right. So immediately, she's a bit back heavy. So let's see if we get very far. I've got rear and forward lights, that's nice. So that's the KSP. Our objective is here. So we need to go that way, apparently. Yes, yes we do. We need to go north. Alright, so... Ooh! 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 Yep, 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 yep. Revert flight to the space plane hangar. Have you forgot? Have you noticed what we forgot? It's a very important thing. Bear in mind that I can't land. Um, and landing planes is hard. <laughs> this thing needs parachutes. How heavy are you? Alright, so we actually we didn't need the runway upgrade for the weight or the size, but we did need it for the part count and we did need it for the mass. 
So you're all there. I'll also want one up here. And I'll want one on the back. So let's flip these around so that we've got a bit more come on just a bit more wheels at the rear and we'll check where our center of mass is center of mass is now between the wheels that should mean we shouldn't flip over center of mass center of flight We'll find out if this works. This is the Explorer LR, now with parachutes. Now with staged parachutes. Crew. Yeah. All right. Launch. There we go. That's better. Let's see what this new tarmac -y thing on the runway feels. And more can give us some feedback. what this plane feels like. Winter up in the air and heading vaguely north. Turn SAS on. Okay. I am pleased to report this aircraft is stable. So let's climb and throttle up. Navigation active. All right. We'll just use the rudder to bring ourselves slowly but surely heading north. So, don't need thermal. Uh, and I will take the vessel. RDV? No, this one. So our objective is to get pretty much as well is to get supersonic. Try not to go rockets when you're going really high and fast. You can pull away from this, absolutely fine. Our plane if you diverge with the nose from your pro your actual direction of flight. You'll just yeah, flip out the sky and die. So, what I'm interested to know is. Pin that, please. Pin that, please. So, that's our engine performance. Is if we go higher, we get less drag because there's less atmosphere, which means we can go faster. However, the higher we go, there's less atmosphere to fuel the engines. Apparently got 49,000 <laughs> meters per second of delta V available. That's kind of what I want to see. So we'll just keep pulling around, straightening off, and pulling around, straightening off. Probably should have done a parachute test, but we flew, and that's what matters to me. Stereo study while flying low over Kerbals. Could have collected the two things there together. You come down here. You stay here. Well, we can't reset that, so I'll just leave that one up for now. Okay. We're now on heading, we're descending, because I was playing around with something else. Alright. Pull up if you wouldn't mind. See if we can get some more altitude. No, I do not want to do an EVA report from here. Not when I'm doing a reasonable amount of Mac. Yeah, point eight back. <laughs> no. Not in the slightest. 
Okay. Alright then. In that case, I'm gonna speed time up. And I'll see you when we're an awful lot closer. So it turns out that if you raise the landing gear, things are an awful lot easier to fly. Where actually is this? Is it in the mountain range? It's in the mountain range. <laughs> Alright. Well, I've also discovered that if we go above 6,000, um, build up a fair bit, but if we go above 6,000 meters, sorry, if we go above 8,000 meters, we don't actually have the wing area to go that high. There's simply not enough atmosphere. So, yeah, I'm reasonably happy that we have the fuel we need. Um, but yes, those are some high mountains, so we are going to need to climb. We don't necessarily have the wing surface to get up there, but we do have the thrust of weight the engines to get us up there so let's add some altitude we're a minute away now so it's in that dip over there so let's make sure we're going to climb over the top of that and then we'll end up and see if we can get ourselves down into here I'm not going to do the EDA report <laughs> that just be mental um, I think these are We'll see if when we go from this surface to this biome, this changes. If it does, then I'll probably take a material study. Let's um, bring ourselves slightly to the left, to the right. Here we are over mountain, so I will take that material study. And I will keep it. Alright, I am going to kill the engines, pull up a little bit. Bring us around to the left. And then I am going to pop the parachutes. And do a flare as best we can. Don't have a lot of control authority in this thing. Dump our horizontal speed. Yes, I know we're going away from it. But I really don't want to be landing somewhere that's a little too offensive. What's our altitude above terrain? 3,000? Alright, let's take the advantage of the fact that our parachutes went open for a bit to pull up and do quite the unpleasant maneuver. You can tell this is Mauler flying. Dondon would never have done something so mental. Um, and our parachute should engage when we're a thousand over the surface. Just need to get close enough. Let's deploy the gear. And turn the lights on. Come on. Very nose down at the moment. We are pretty much on top of the anomaly. 1200, and there we go, altitude above terrain went less than a thousand, and now we are gently, gently, gently coming down to the surface. And here's the bit where Mauler <laughs> keep board, um, shows just how baller she is, because yes, she did just get out, take an EVA report while floating down. Alright, so apparently... Given our current rate of descent, it's anticipating that it will take us two days <laughs> to get down to the surface. Really? I don't think so. I mean, our impact time is telling us it's 10 seconds. I suppose it's trying to also with the fact that we've got a horizontal distance is not closing. So the diagonal distance is, sh is slowing an awful lot less than this. So, let's speed time up and land shall we? Great thing about packing an engineer is technically we can repack these parachutes, uh, brakes. Alright, so apparently we've not done mystery goo observation or um, anything else on this thing. So, can circle. You can't 
eject. All right. Well, we'll start with Adjur's resident have a ladder on this thing. Well, all right. I just try. It. What happens if I retract the landing gear? Yes, it does get low enough that we can deal with it, but we do slide a little bit. All right. SAS on. Nope. Don't have the reaction was for it. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Mauler, would you be so kind as to get out and wander over here a little bit? And then we will toggle back the spacecraft. Transfer crew. C4. Transfer to here. Now you're in the crew cabin. C4. Would you be so kind to EVA? And let go. We'll wander back over here. Can you reach this? Yes. Collect data. Remove. Restore. And then I would like you to climb and board. Nice. Materials, mystery goo. Keep both of them. Nice. We're then going to transfer crew, transfer C4 back into the rear section. And then we're going to switch over to Mauler. Who now apparently has a 15 minute walk over the hill. Alright, well we can do something about that. We can definitely do something about that. Get back on the plane. Because with the landing gear down. Board. Alright, uh, landing gear if you wouldn't mind. Doink. Alright. Brakes off. A very small amount of thrust. Kill the thrust. Three wheel steering on this thing. Alright. Brakes, please. Ooh, and there's a power slide. Alright, so we don't have enough friction on our brakes to stop us from sliding down. But we are going slow enough that nothing's going to break. Alright, um, I'll do the brakes just a little bit to get us down onto the flat bit. Alright, so we're now an awful lot closer. Let's bring the gear in again. And Mauler! Be so kind as to let go and run <laughs> for a couple minutes. Run quickly, and we will find out what's over here. This is DMA four. Sorry, just playing with the time warp because the, the time was bouncing around in an odd way. Alright. You don't really need the uh, planes over there. We will probably recover that separately. Um, and intact, which is always good. Previously, you saw me, I think it was the, uh, the uh, Explorer 3, you saw me plow that one into the ground. All right. Location DMA dash four. Oh, it should be there. Speed time up a little bit. Okay, what's this? Discovered a strange monolith. Ooh. With the logo, squad. Mauler looks like a great place to hide a super secret base. It does, doesn't it, Mauler? 90 grand, 36 signs, 18 reputation. Nice. So, we'll send a helicopter. It'll take a while, um, because apparently we Kerbins don't live on the surface, so I don't quite know how we went and got her. But yes, done. No new ribbons, that's fine. But what we'll do is go to the tracking station. So it did occur to me that I could, notionally, attempt to take off 
There's TMA for... Yeah. I could notionally attempt to take off and then fly this distance, but I'm pretty sure getting out of that bucket <laughs> of a canyon would be near impossible. So let's take the Explorer LR and we will recover her. Yes. So we've got a, f a little bit of science. Total science is not too bad. Got all of the parts back. And you did get any XP. However, you did get a medal for landing at high altitude. <laughs> all right, then. Fair enough. I'd be the Marmoset, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we're going to go to one of the other ones. Well, you're going to see a highlight reel of me going to the other ones because we've got several missions. So we've got a mission to go to the desert. Um, we've got to let's go over here. We've got a mission to go to this one. We've got a mission to go to this one. And we've got a mission to go and have a look at this pyramid. So I'm probably going to make that in one trip because we can repack the parachutes once we've landed. And then I'm going to make a separate trip for that one. So you will see those as me just landing because you don't need to see me taking off. You don't need to see me prepping the ship. Uh, the aircraft. You'll see me landing nearby them. And I'll see you next episode. Bye for now.